Hello everyone, this is Aditi. I am a fourth year law student at Symbiosis Law School, Noida. And in this video of mentorship project, I'll be sharing my internship experience at Khatan & Co, Noida office, which I pursued in the month of August 2022. So before entering into the nitty gritties of how this internship was and uh, what kind of work I was provided with, I would like to touch upon the aspect of how I got through this internship and what is the application process here. So like any other uh, law firm, uh, the application process was pretty simple. I had to apply through their website, then email address has been provided on their website. So you can uh, take that email address and send your application via an email. So what different I did was that I specifically mentioned about my team that I am interested to work in, that is the COP team. And I mentioned about that in my application header itself. I am mentioned about the month in which I want to apply. I mean, I'm a, I want to pursue that internship. I mentioned that as well. And after an application, after sending that application to the concerned email, what I did was I constantly kept a follow-up loop so what i did i replied on my email itself after every week after every 10 days or seven days or whatever days i feel appropriate was i uh, emailed them and I reminded them again about my application and i uh, told them how much eager i am to apply and, and to pursue an internship here so after constant follow-ups, I got a uh, confirmation in the month of June and uh, the confirmation was not mere selection on my application. Rather, they asked me about my interest areas, in, like the teams in which I want to pursue. So they asked me about three teams in which I want to pursue my internship. I provided them on the basis of my preference. So if my first preference is disputes team, second preference is COP. So I have to mention these three teams. And these teams are not supposed to be uh, the common teams like I want to pursue litigation than corporate. No, you don't have to mention that. You have to specifically mention the teams that the firm deal in. For instance, uh, if I am interested in capital markets, so I have to mention capital markets team. And if, if somebody is interested in mergers and acquisitions, so they have to mention mergers and acquisition team. So this way you have to give three preferences, location preference, everything is asked. And after these preferences have been communicated by the HR to you, they reach out to you for an inter interview. So the interview is scheduled after uh, a week of uh, getting a confirmation or asking your preference offices. And uh, that interview uh, is taken by either the partner or a principal associate of that firm. And it is not necessary that the person taking your interview can be from the team that you want to uh, pursue internship with. For instance, the person who took my interview was from the energy law sector. And luckily, I did my last internship, last to last internship in energy law firm. So there was a lot of questions that he asked me regarding that. So uh, it, it, it is your luck if you get uh, somebody who is in your team, who, who, is, uh, who is the person who has dealt in uh, the team that you are interested in. So uh, that is completely on uh, their discretion. So you don't get uh, the person concerned uh, from the team in which you are interested. And after the interview, if the interview uh, goes well, uh, you get a call back again from the HR uh, and get a confirmation email again uh, regarding your confirmation regarding your internship. So that's what happened to me as well. I got the confirmation by July, mid-July, uh, that my internship has been confirmed for the month of August. And since it was a virtual internship, since uh, the corporate team of the Khetan Noida office is already working from home only, so we were not allowed to go to the office. So they, they provided us various uh, uh, email addresses and there was one orientation program on the first day as well. And the email address was provided to whom we can communicate regarding any login issues in our IDs or anything regarding that. Then uh, apart from that, uh, the team in which I interned was uh, uh, the insolvency and uh, restructuring team. Uh, this was not my first preference, but I was allotted that team ideally. So I had to intern there and we're not allowed to change the teams as well. But the best thing about Khetan is that, and which I like the most, is that you can parallelly intern with other teams as well. So the email address that was provided to us was, uh, that was uh, 
constant mails were given to us from different teams like dispute team is reaching to us if somebody is free and has the bandwidth to work please reply to this mail and we will provide you work so i was from insolvency and bankruptcy team but that uh, got compensated when i started getting work from other teams as well like general corp team i worked a lot for direct tax team as well and the disputes team as well so uh, the the nature of the internship was very dynamic it was changing a lot because i was getting a lot and a variety of work from various teams so that was one thing that i really liked about this internship and uh, the nature of work ranged from research basically and uh, at times they provide you uh, some drafting work for instance i was provided uh, a key draft chapter uh, of a uh, prospectus where i had to research on laws and draft the same and then there were discussions as well there are various updates uh, uh, that has been uh, provided by the khatan and co law firm so i worked on that insolvency updates as well uh, where i had to extract various judgments from the nclt and N NC nclt website and i had to make briefs of those judgments so that two three things two three drafting assignments were provided to me and apart from that majorly the work was research oriented and as i said that research was again very dynamic because research for a corporate team is very different to what research for a disputes team is so i was at times working on some estoppel aspect and then i was working on um some ites policy in maharashtra to get that circular out of the website so the nature of the internship was very varied and i really liked that thing because you are not constrained to just just one team and you're not working for just one team so even if you did not get the desired team that you really wanted to get in you can always work for them and reach out for work uh, another aspect of this internship was that uh, on our first day of orientation uh, which was a virtual orientation we were provided a buddy so in khatan a buddy is like a mentor to you and that buddy could be anyone it could be an associate of the office or it could be a principal associate or a senior associate or even a partner so my buddy was miss pooja kumari she was from the insolvency and restructuring team and i really liked working with her and uh, she was very cordial and she the best part about her was that she, before giving an assignment she used to explain me for like 10 15 minutes that what this assignment is and how you are going to contribute to that assignment so in this buddy system it's it's very good uh, basically that you get a person to whom you can communicate in an online setup because majorly in law firms you do not get a mentor and then you are lost because there's nobody whom you can talk to or ask for work and then you sit idle for days so that did not happen here we uh, we were provided this buddy and we were in constantly touch with them asking for more work they were also keeping a check on us whether we were working or not and uh, so this this aspect was again a very nice aspect which uh, ensured that we were always busy apart from this uh, uh, the internships working experience uh, is concerned uh, the time of uh, the internship was very good i would say that uh, the work culture despite being it a work from home we were not allowed to work post 7 or 8 until and unless there's an urgent uh, need or an assignment that we were working on so uh, the office hours was mostly 9:30 9:30 or 10 to 6 7 8 pm not post 8 until and unless again it's an urgent assignment so that was that and the uh, work culture was again very cordial uh, i was addressing everyone as sir and ma'am the associates and they constantly pointed me out that you don't need to do that because uh, the sir and sir and ma'am culture is not here and you need to address us by our first name because we were working together as a team so uh, the work culture the people were very cordial there were constant meetings with our buddies and the people whom we had assignments with and even if you are not feeling well or is there some emergency they were very much understanding apart from that they asked us to reach uh, reach out to the office if uh, we really wanted to go for an offline internship so if if you want you can go go to the office for a day or two and uh, that that would uh, really provide you a physical aspect like to go to the office and meet people in physicality so uh, that aspect was very nice uh, in this internship and uh, the overall internship 
I would say is that this was my first year of an internship and I really enjoyed that. I had few preconceived notions about tier one firms that nobody cares for you and uh, they do not provide much work and uh, they, uh, they they think that you are from uh, a lower year, like if you're in a fourth year or in, you're in a third year, so you will not be provided much work because you don't have much knowledge. So that was not that. And uh, that myth was, uh, that bubble of mine was bursted. So I really enjoyed this internship experience and I like I, I would really want everyone to apply to Khetan. It's a very nice firm. Uh, they also provided us a, a stipend as well at the end of the internship. So the stipend is also based on the performance basis. They do provide it, but if you've taken a lot of leaves and uh, if you're not efficient enough and that is not reflected in your worksheet, they would not provide the same as well. Since I have known few people who would not provide it with the same because of the less amount of work that they took up. So uh, it is always better to work hard and to make the most out of the opportunity that is provided to you. Since uh, you get to know the working culture of uh, such huge firms. And uh, I really hope that you all apply. And uh, I hope that this video will provide you some sort of a help in your application process. Thank you so much.